Hello, and welcome back to another Dynamics 365 Quick Tip with Cobalt. My name is Kate, and today I'm excited to share with you how you can open Excel online right from within Dynamics 365. You can perform calculations on your data, create charts and pivot tables, or even import the data back to the CRM. As you can see, I'm looking at my active orders table. I'll click the drop down next to export to Excel and open it in Excel online. It launches a new window with my table, and I have all of the functionality that I normally need uh, when I'm working in my browser or my desktop app. Just to test things out, perhaps I want to perform a calculation on the total amount column. I can sum up all of the order amounts with my sum calculation, click enter, and get my results, just as I would expect. It's important to note before we move forward that that field isn't going to be mapped back anywhere in the CRM. So anything you do with calculations um, that aren't going to be tracked back into one of the records in the table or any charts or pivot tables you create, none of that is going to be saved. So you'll need to click the file button, save as, and either save a copy online or download a copy to your computer. So let's quickly demo creating a chart, so maybe like a scatter table. It's going to be generated by Excel, and I can go in and edit the X and Y axis, the colors, labels, anything that I need to make the chart more appealing or more accurately represented for my viewers. Now, as I mentioned, we can import data back to the CRM. It's not going to create new records. However, you can edit fields. So like a single line of text field, I could um, add in some specificity to my order name and I'll go ahead and update a few of them so that we can see that afterwards. Additionally, I could change single select drop down fields and import that back. Um, however, with this total amount field, this is an amount that is calculated by the system based on the related products for the order and what their totals are. And it also adds in any tax that's going to be calculated by the system. So I can't overwrite what the system is going to do. Um, that is just one limitation to look out for on certain fields. If it's system calculated, you won't be able to overwrite it necessarily. So I have updated the fields that I'd like. All I need to do is click save and that's going to create an uh, import for us to monitor momentarily. So I can just click this track progress button and see how my import is going. So just to recap while we're waiting, um, there are certain fields that can't be updated by the import process. There are also um, some things to watch out for around your pivot tables and charts i.e. if you want to save it, make sure to go into the file and uh, download a copy. It is now completed and all we need to do is verify that it worked as expected and I can see that it was updated at 3 p.m. today. So that was using Excel online to create new calculations and charts and pivot tables and just manipulate that data with Excel. Um, you can also import it back. That's our quick tip. If you have any questions, feel free to leave us a question in the comments or reach out to Cobalt support team for assistance. If you're finding us on YouTube and you're looking for a Dynamics 365 partner, be sure to reach out to us at sales at cobalt.net. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next quick tip.